Hey guys, it's Mel Nelson here, and I want to give you guys a closer look at a couple of our summer store products, the bronzer and the primer. If you guys had a chance to check out my last video on them, um, they were, it was my first look. I, my first impressions of these products, and I wasn't entirely sure how I felt about them. Now, after using them for a little... For a little bit and learning a little bit more about them I am very excited to show you guys what I've learned and hopefully you guys can um, see why you might want these products in your life now my favorite and like my top favorite thing about these products is that they're kind of idiot proof which is really great if you're someone that doesn't wear makeup very often or if you just don't you're kind of makeup illiterate and I am somebody that absolutely I'm a fan of makeup is what I say all the time I'm a fan but I definitely don't know a whole lot of techniques and so I'll kind of throw stuff on every like once in a while which isn't you know and I don't wear makeup very often so I'll throw some makeup on every once in a while you know and I'll feel happy about getting it on basically but I don't know if I'm doing it right if there is a right way to do it um, but I always but these products are something that you don't need to worry as much about because they again are idiot proof you can really anybody can use them and what's great about these two products is it's great for all skin types so like I said we have the prismatic primer and we have the bronzer so the bronzer is this really cool it's in this really cute container and it's this twist up um twist up little thing it's like a glue stick right and it looks super super dark right um even for me I look at it and I'm just like oh my gosh like how this is super dark but once you kind of try it it really doesn't it's very buildable and it doesn't go on as dark when you first put it on now I always say that everybody needs a good bronzer in their life especially in the summer because bronzers are like I said super easy to use I think and very idiot proof and something that um it makes your skin look sun-kissed, which is great, especially in the summer. So I love that this is in included in the summer store. So now the Prismatic Primer, again, if you guys don't have a primer, if you've never tried primer before, you really need to check it out, especially if you're a makeup person. Primers, a primer is obviously it primes your face before makeup. So it really helps kind of... Um, um, give your face a very smooth base to put makeup on. So if you're a makeup wearer, obviously primer is going to help you kind of keep that makeup on your face. Um, if you're not a makeup person, this is a really great one as well because it helps kind of fill in the pores. Now this one is a prismatic primer, so it is a bit shimmery and my initial review of this product, well my first, initial first look of this product, I didn't know how much I liked the fact that it was so shimmery. It's a very prismatic shimmer effect. So it has, it's like little glitteries, right? I don't know if you can kind of see that. No, probably not. It's a little bit too bright in here, but it's shimmery, but it's not. So I kind of thought, well, I probably highlight it with it, but I probably wouldn't use it whole, like all over my face. But in actuality, what's really great about the primer is that you can actually mix this with whatever you're using. So if you are someone like me and you're obsessed with the face oils, you can mix a tiny little bit with the face oils and pat it into your face. And that's going to really help give that little bit of shimmer that helps bring light into your face, um, but it's not going to be overpowering. Okay. Another thing that's really great about this is you can use it to highlight. Um, highlighting is not as scary as, it you might, as you might think. Some places that you might want to put this as a highlighter is on the inner corners of your eyelids to help kind of bring in the light and to help you kind of wake up. You can always put it on the brows right here of your eyebrow of your eyebrows. And you can even stick it right under here. So under your it's under your under eye right here, just kind of above your cheekbone. So those are a few places that you can put this to help kind of bring um, some light in to highlight your face. Um, again, you can always do it on your cupid's bow as well. So just kind of like the high points of your face. You can throw it on your nose if you want. You can even use it as a lip, like over your lip color if you want to. Um, and it helps seal in the color. So if you're a lip um, stick person, this is going to help you with that. So this is a really versatile product, something that you actually can be using more often than you probably would think. So like I said, um, you can always pat, pat here. And anytime you're patting under eye, you want to use your ring finger because it's not going to give as much, um, uh, oh my gosh, as much force. Okay, and then, and I only did like a tiny bit. So you got that. 
you can always put it on your inner eyelids. Obviously, I have my glasses on right now, so it's a little bit hard for me to do um, as I'm trying to demo it. But you can always rub it up here as well to kind of help heighten that part of your face. And like I said, you can always add that to your Cupid's bow if you want, or you can throw it over your lip color. So this is a really, really great product that you can be using pretty much everywhere. And honestly, I think it would be really great to just mix it in with your face oil. If you're a Dawn on Me fan like I am, mix it in with your face oil, pat it all around, and you're good to go. And again, I'm not a huge makeup wearer whatsoever, and so I love how easy it is. And it really isn't, it's shimmery, but it's not to the point where you're like, oh my gosh, there's glitter all over your face. So... So there's that, okay? Now, what's really cool about the bronzer, well, the thing that I like about the bronzer is that it's very buildable. So you can do, you can put a bunch on, you don't have to put as much on, um, but this is really great because there are different ways you can use this. So you can obviously use it straight from the stick and use it as a bronzer. So you can rub it on, and so if you wanna try like contouring, then you're supposed to put it like that, right, I think. You know, who knows? Okay. I am not a contouring person, so I'm going to try it out. But, and then it's blendable, which is awesome. So you kind of blend it out. And you guys, obviously, I'm not going to give you a makeup tutorial because I am not equipped to handle such things. But... You can kind of see, the light in here is kind of washed out, so you can, can't quite tell, but you can see that it was very blendable. It didn't really stick around, and after even just drawing like a hue, like a, that, you know, a very thick line, you can blend it out and build it up so that it's not um, a very definite streak on your face, right? And you can blend with your fingers, you can blend with a brush, you can blend with the beauty blender, whatever you guys want to do to kind of build that up there. But for contouring, you can use this for contouring. Like I said, I'm not a huge, um, I don't really know about contouring. So you guys can check out the different tutorials for those who actually know what they're doing with contouring. Um, but so I like that it's easy, that I don't have to worry about it. It's idiot proof. I can mess with it all I want. Um, my favorite, favorite thing to do with bronzer though is to apply it on um, kind of like in a W on my face. So W this way. So across my forehead, right? So like that around here, um, but yeah, like that W this way, one, two loops. Um, because that's where the sun would hit you. The sun, the sun would hit you right here on top of your face and then on your cheekbones, and that gives you that sun-kissed look, okay? And I absolutely love a good bronzer, which I already mentioned, but I uh, can't see, you don't have my glasses. I have, it's really hard when I don't have my glasses on, but you can kind of see that it blends in really well, but it gives you a nice sun-kissed sun glow can even stick it up there, right? Okay, I can't actually see very well without my glasses, so. And like I said, you can always stick it up here and kind of blend it in as well. Okay. All right. I can't, it's kind of washed out, so you guys probably can't really see it, but if you guys, I like the feel of it, okay? It's not super greasy. It's not going to make your feel, skin feel like um, you're sweating it out later on, which is really great, especially in the summer. Um, but I love how easy it is to kind of put on. So even though I kind of rubbed it on, you can't quite, it's still, the, the camera is so washed out that it might be hard for you to see. But it does give you the nice kind of sun-kissed glow, Okay. What's really cool about this is that it actually says lip and contouring bronzer, so you can actually put this on all over your lips too. You can use your fingers to apply. It's very easy to use, which is awesome. Now, one of the other things that you can be really that you can be doing with this, so like I said, you can contour or you can use it as a bronzer. So contouring or as a bronzer, right? Or you can also use it as a tinted moisturizer. So to use it as a tinted moisturizer, you're gonna rub a bunch on your hand and like a lot, a lot. You're gonna take your favorite moisturizer. Um, personally, I am obsessed with this one, um, which is the Summer Store Moisturizer. It's very refreshing. You're gonna squeeze a dot of it on here, um, on your 
huge slab of, of the bronzer and you're going to take a beauty blender, make sure it's a damp beauty blender, and then kind of tap the moisturizer and mix it in with some of the um, bronzer and then that will make a nice tinted bronzer for you or tinted moisturizer for you. So again, another really great way to use a product, okay? Um, yeah, so this is, like I said, the bronzer and the primer. Um, sorry, I'm not a huge makeup person, but if you guys, like, it's a very, very blendable product. So I swiped a nice swipe on my hand, and you can see that it blends away pretty well, right? Um, so yeah, so if you guys haven't had a chance to try this yet, I do encourage you guys to check it out, to try it, um, let me know what you guys think about it. Like I said, I really like the way that it feels on my face, I like that it doesn't feel like it's cakey or anything like that. For someone who isn't a huge makeup wearer, I love that, um, I love how easy it is to apply and how easy it is to use, and it's something that you can easily throw in your swim bag or in your, you know, gym bag or something, whatever you're doing in the summer, and you can kind of throw it on and it'll, you'll look super put together, which is amazing. So if you guys have any questions about these products, let me know. Um, they are available individually on the website, or you can always contact me if you guys want to see what I have in stock. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, if you have any tips for me, please leave them in the comments. Um, because I would love to hear how you guys use these products and what you're thinking about them. Um, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more, please subscribe. Thanks, guys.